All right, you two, we're back for the last match of this league after taking the dog out. Yeah, thanks, Barbie. Billy did good. He went, he went pee when he was out there, which is always great. Good boy. All right. Hopefully we can do it so we can cash this league. That's the... That is the game plan. I think I'm going to mulligan. I don't have any interaction. And like if my opponent's playing a fair deck, then we're good. But if they're playing an unfair deck, I'm just going to die. If I was on a play, I might keep it, but there's just not enough interaction. Yeah, we'll keep this. We have a Forest of Ponder and a Tarmoyth. I'm going to put that on top. Because that's either like land three for Liliana or a relevant spell. Drazi Temple. So this is getting forced. It's not getting forced, but that's getting wastelanded. So I hear this is actually a pretty good matchup for like Bug Delver because Tarmogoyf is like a really good blocker. Okay, Ancient Tomb. I'll force a Chalice. Endless one for two. So do I want to just try to keep the board clear? Nah. Like, if I can get Tarmogoyf down, it's going to be bigger, and I have to worry about, like, Reality Smasher. Though, maybe, because, like, if they just land a Cavern, then this force isn't doing anything. Besides defending me against an Umazawa's Jitte. So I want to ponder into like lands, because like they they're a wasteland deck as well. That's good. That's a good draw. Okay, so now I can go wasteland and deathrite shaman at some point. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go like this. This, this, and I will not shuffle my library. Oh, there you are, boy. The next turn, we're likely going to cast Tarmogoyf, because Tarmogoyf, it's only a 2-3, but if I have to force... Ah, my force is... I don't have any force online. Yeah, I don't know how this matchup goes, to tell you the truth. I would assume, like, in my sideboard, like, Thought Seize is probably good, Diabolic Edict is probably good. Endless one for three. Okay. So I can either go Wasteland, Shaman, and then I, I'm guaranteed to take six, seven at least. So I think I gotta play Tarmogoyf. Life. Because at least Goyf holds off like a couple of these. Depending on what my opponent is for next play. I don't think my opponent's hand's very good if like their turn three play was Matter of Shaper or, or, or an endless one. Like, no. No biting. Play with your toy. Play with your cute toy. That's what, that's what you can chew. The next turn I can go like waste this, play Deathrite Shaman, or I can go. Glimmer post. Okay, so now they can play a Thought Knot Seer, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, we don't have a blue card to pitch. So block this, take seven, go to five. Might be in trouble. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Maybe so I guess I should have wastelanded and played Shaman last turn. Yeah, that's probably a mistake on my part. Block this, take seven, go to five. Or you can just not attack with it, which is also an option.
next turn go block, block. So I need to draw one more threat, basically, or have this end this mimic not grow. Because I can go like block, block, take four. Yeah, we're in a tough spot either way. So if I daze, if I go Wasteland, daze my Deathrite Shaman, still get it into play, then that means that this becomes a 3-4. So this eats this, blocks here, we go to 1. That just still doesn't seem like very good. I think I'm just dead no matter what. It's probably because I, I just didn't wasteland this ancient tomb, and that's what cost me. Looking back on it. It also sucked that we couldn't get our Tarmogoyf any bigger. I would have liked to have a larger Goyf. Now, if we have to pitch a card to force, we're dead because we have to go to one. Yeah, opponent's got it. We we could now nah, we could go like we can't even eat something. Yeah, sad. So all right, so I think I want all of my removal spells. Um. Probably don't want, like, I probably don't want Force. Probably like, not really in the market for Force for days. Probably Liliana the Last Hope seems all right. Maybe on the play I want days. Or I could just cut, I could just, like, go without counter magic. And, like, come on, buddy, no. And then just be on the Thought Seize plan, and then just keep, like, a couple days is in. Because we, we, we do board out a lot of blue cards. I think I like this. I don't know if this is right or not, but... I think I am a fan of what this is doing here. Eldrazi is what knocked me out of contention for top eight at the SCG tournament that I played at. I would like to play first. All right. I think I'm going to keep this. Like, if we get Chaliced on one, I think I'm going to Brainstorm. Hold up Brainstorm, because if my opponent plays like a Chalice, then I can Brainstorm into a second land for Tarmogoyf, or Brainstorm into a Daze and then play Delver. Or Brainstorm into, like, him. Okay, so we're not getting... So that's not happening. Okay, so that is happening. Okay, so let's find a land or a daze. We didn't find either? Oh my god. Well, now we're just dead. That's so gross. Now we gotta wait two draw steps at least. Wow. All right, I think I'm just gonna actually cast this Delver just to make it so that my Tarmogoyf is bigger when I get it into play, because that's gonna be my game plan. I need to make a big Tarmogoyf. And we're missing at least on our next turn, so I'll probably just cast the ponder also so make it so my tarmac looks larger than the thought nuts here and now we gotta hope that if we draw if we draw land next turn then I can get this tarmac down 
and at least a Tarmogoyf's big. And then I can abrupt decay this at some point. Cloud post doesn't do anything. So we could get Reality Smashered next turn, which would suck. Land. Nope. That's probably game. If I had to assume. No. Hey. You've got all these two toys. Thought not seer. Yeah, we're good. We're good. That sucks. Man. All right, let me turn my YouTube video off here.